Good morning. How we doing? <laughs> well, I've got us live, but <laughs> okay, um, you're going to do some writing for me. Okay, so here's your board marker. I think that works best when I get out of the way so they can see. Okay, I have my little helper here again this morning. How are we doing? Or this morning, it is almost noon. Another week, y'all. This is gonna, this is our third week. Woo, woo. All right. We're gonna go over five terms. We may not fulfill the full hour. I'm not real sure yet. So you'll need some paper and pen. Hello, hello. We've got 31 on board right now. We'll give a couple more minutes. Please take out paper and pen. Hi guys. Happy Monday. Hi, Stacy. I see Christy still with us, and uh, we've got Christy Aceveda, Victoria Pierce, and Angelica Cabrera who are uh, who have been uh, joining us. Got Molly on roll call. We'll give everybody a few minutes. We got 44 on board, so I'll give a few more minutes to kind of Oh, yes, Lauren. Mm -hmm. A long shag. I like it. I need some wine tonight. I didn't have any wine in a couple days. I need some wine tonight. These hairs are crazy. Joelle, how's your reception been? Never say never, Lauren. Y'all will need some paper and pen. These will be uh, questions that um, information that when you take the little written examination, you will feel very, very good about um, this information once you jot it down. It'll help you a lot. Good job, we're 12 o'clock straight up. You know, Marina, I like both red and white. White by the swimming pool with ice in it and red with Italian and pizza or next to a nice fire. How about you? Or wait, are you old enough to drink? I don't remember. You look so young. Hey guys, hi Katie. Okay, so we're gonna start by jotting down um, this, uh, uh, some information about the, oh, you love both. Oh, nice, good point. Oh, you're 27, Marina? I had no idea. Oh, I love champagne too, champagne. Okay, we are gonna start with the types of massage movement. So you can title your um, you can title your sheet the types of massage movements. These will be questions for every single course that will be very, very important. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna tilt this up to where y'all can see it so that Lauren can uh, jot it down for us. And um, let's see here. <laughs> our wine talk in the morning, right? Sounds good right now. Actually. Well, it's morning. It's noon. Europeans drink all day. <laughs> I 
I have my, y'all know me, I gotta have my sparkling water. Lauren and I were laying in bed this morning, uh, just kind of waking up and she was acting silly about all these massage movements. And I said, you oh ought to God. do that for this class. They would laugh, laugh, laugh. We were laughing. We were talking. We were talking about these massage movements. It was fun. Um, you will not turn this in unless it's just going to be part of. So from five to six o'clock tonight, notes that you have taken absorbed is going to be turned in for a grade um, uh, for proof that you have been doing this. So you do need to sort of take these notes and uh, again, keep compiling these notes in a big pile so that we can turn them in. I know I say that a lot, but it's just that important. Uh, these uh, these guidelines that TDLR is sending out, they really, um, um, for example, this all these comments and stuff that y'all are putting, I know that there's a few people who don't comment and I'm not really sure why not, um, but you should at least comment so that um, it appears so that we just don't want any problems with TDLR. Okay. Um, and that's why um, we've got to be diligent on all of our note takings and such. So just pile it in a good pile. Okay. Our first one we're going to write down is effleurage. E, I'm going to move out of the way here. E F F L E U R A. G E. I'm going to give you a few little um, definitions, but the one that you need to know the most for state board, you want to be able to answer that this is a stroking motion. So right now, out, outside and aloud, you want to say to yourself, effleurage, stroking motion. So you just want to think about it like this. It's a stroking motion. Now we're going to write some bullets down that are going to, let me get your tag in and stick it out. Um, so we're going to add a few bullets uh, right now of information on that. But keep in mind, I want you to stress the fact that, not stroke, but stroking. Just know that it's stroking motion. Stroking motion, okay? Uh, because that is what you will primarily see on your state board examination. That's a stroking motion. So, bullet one, it is used at the beginning and the end of the massage. used at the beginning and the end of the massage. There's a technique, I mean, there's a term that you will see on your state board, it's called feathering. I'm gonna have Lauren write down feathering. Am I writing that down? Yeah. In the bullet? A, another bullet, yeah, or a hyphen, whatever, a dash, whatever you wanna use. Feathering, so she's gonna put a dash, and this is a slower effleurage So it's a slower feathering type of technique of effleurage that is um, at the end of the massage. So it will just sort of uh, feather off. I'm actually going to have Lauren sit here so I can do something on her real quick so I can show you guys. Have a seat. So, so sometimes like I'm just going to give you an example. This would be a slower motion right here to feather off. Okay? Or on the arm. Hold your arm up since I don't have a table. Slower effleurage to end off the massage. Okay? That's an example of feathering. Okay. So weird to do practical. Okay. Um, let's see. Another bullet is going to be that, um, uh, let's see here, uh, for state board, uh, do not use the fingertips. So the fingertips are not used. So the fingertips are more used for the um, pressure point type of massage. Okay, so do not use the fingertips on an effleurage motion. It's continuous. And the hand should curve to the contour of the skin. So in other words, you don't want to look like, like so robotic. You want to cup and, and grasp and give a nice, smooth, continuous uh, motion. 
effleurage. So as you're watching me do this, I want you to visualize yourself. Whoops. Here, I'll block her from that. Ah. Um, um, <laughs> so we want to do um, a nice effleurage, continuous stroking. Let's also write, put, the, uh, put a dash for the, its gliding motion. Just in case you see that on uh, State Board, but I know that they use this word stroking motion the most. Okay. This camera makes me look so weird. <laughs> well, hopefully the sun will come out and we can get some. Um, so like on the face in certain areas, um, the fingers are actually doing the work, but on larger parts of the body, the whole hand and the palm is actually. So larger areas of the body, the palm will encompass. So put palm, P-A-L-M. Uh -huh. The palm will encompass. And we may get done a little sooner than um, the normal uh, larger areas of the body, like working down the arm, the back, the decollete. The decollete would be this area right here where you're, where you're kind of crisscrossing on your client and uh, those larger surfaces. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just um, add this little paper up here for y'all to just, if you want to. I'm going to move over here for people who need to see the board. And any notes that you want to take right here, I'm going to do it like that so y'all can see it. Any notes that you want to take, you can go ahead and take right there. And you can see in the picture here, So you could say that this one is probably the most relaxing because you're beginning your massage with it and then you're ending it with a feathering technique. So if I were to ask you a question or state board were to ask you a question, which of the five massage manipulations would be classified um, as, a, which one would feathering fall under? It would be effleurage. Am I going too fast? seeing who's all checking in. Okay, good. Uh, you will turn in just a one-pager uh, notes today, Tabitha, of, um, of notes that you've obtained from either me or Kim, and then I will come back today and do a hand and arm massage in a little while. That won't be a note. Okay, good speed. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, so we're on number two. And I think the best thing to do, Ken, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Take a picture of your phone right now before she erases. I like writing on this side and on this side. Yeah, and it's easier for me, too. And then they can see better because your body's out of the way. So I'm going to have her erase this, but take a picture of your screen if you didn't get this and you're just kind of chiming in. I'm going to give Marie and um, I'm going to give Marie a, sec a second to the screenshot that. So just um, if you have the ability or know how to screenshot, I don't know how the Android does it, but I know the iPhone. Okay, Lauren, I think we're good. So we're going to move on to the next one. Every single course in our program will be tested on these five uh, massage movements. Katie is going to be going over the pressure points on the face and how they respond to massage as well. Molly's going to be going over the branches of these five massage uh, techniques. So there's, there's chucking, rolling, ringing, hacking, slapping. Those are all other types of uh, motions that fall under friction and petrissage. And she'll be going over those. Right now we're just getting lay in the land with these five basic motions. Okay, the next one, let me just pick one. I'm going to pick, uh, we're going to pick friction. So Lauren's going to write down friction on the board. And friction, what you need to know for state board the most is it's deep rubbing, deep rubbing manipulation. 
And then we're going to put some bulleted information. Good job. Okay. And some of the bulleted information is going to be, um, this is going to be, um, penetrate, it's going to penetrate the muscle. It's going to be more firm and penetrate the muscle tissue more. So if it's going to penetrate the muscle more, we want to avoid it on people, uh, some areas that we want to avoid. So Lauren, if you'll write down avoid, colon, Okay, we're gonna avoid pregnant people, women, I should say. Pregnant women, inflammation, and varicose veins. Bullet, another bullet, it breaks up knots. K-N-O-T-S, breaks up knots. It stimulates circulation. And believe it or not, well, I'm sure um, like Erica Inman, who is a massage therapist at our South location, um, she would tell you that um, with, the deep, with the friction, we can use our elbows. So, uh, Lauren, you can just write elbows, thumbs, and knuckles can be used. And I'm going to find my little, um, let me see where my little, this is, okay. I'm going to hold this up for you to gather some more notes. I'll do it like that. Oops, I'm still getting the board in the way. I'm going to, you can look at the little picture first. Wait, where am I? Okay. So you see how she's using her thumbs on the palm of the hand? Look at my dry cuticle. Sorry. It's embarrassing. Okay. Now I'll do like that. Friction. Hopefully y'all can see that and get some additional information. Yes, Joelle, 100% the best. I like deep uh, penetrating muscle. Yes, still take notes. This will just be um, a one pager. You're going to uh, turn in whatever you've got to uh, from the 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock hour in a little while. Won't be long the way the day uh, goes. It's on, it's going on one o'clock and then the day is just over. It goes so fast. But once we have, once we get back in the building again, you guys, all you're going to do is turn in a big stack of papers for me to put in there. That way, if I have any uh, questions, oh, I know the massage therapists are the best. Lauren misses, uh, she likes to go to an experienced lymphatic drainage, um, massage therapist and there's not many people who actually are licensed in that they in fact if you inquire about it they will say I'm really not certified and uh, those people are very hard to find so if you ever need a it's good my one favorite song. yeah it's really good and um, um, loves it so okay here we go if y'all are screenshotting or if you're just jotting this down I've got it up here right now Okay, that's our second one. And then we have three more. All right, let me move my little, I, I got papers everywhere. I got these little things. Uh, I'll give you all a second, screenshot that or uh, jot it down. Uh, it'll be tonight, Monica, your one, one or two pages of notes uh, tonight. We'll give you all instruction on that. Um, in fact, I have my little paper right here. She's going to come up. Molly will come on live at five, uh, five o'clock. She's going to give you instruction about, uh, sending in some notes and then she'll turn the live feed off at five twenty for roll call. Okay. 
She'll take the attendance and stuff. And then she'll get all of that to Jeremy no later than 6.15 tonight. And she'll give you all that information. Okay, I've done this one. Which one did, did we do at Florage? Yeah, we did at Florage. Uh, yes, go ahead and erase. Let me show you all a picture while she's erasing of uh, friction. These uh, these deep circles right here are done with, the, when I said it's done with the palms of the hand, I uh, wanted you to have a better understanding. And do you see the direction in which they're going using the thumbs and the palms of the hand? That would be an example of friction using uh, the palms of the hand. Okay. And let's see here. We have not done, uh, okay, now we're ready for petrissage. Okay, Lauren, let's go ahead and write that down. P-E-T-R-I-S-S-A-G-E. Petrissage. Good. Now, what you need to know for uh, state board, that petrissage, what you've got to know is that it's a kneading massage. K-N-E-A-D-I-N-G. It's a kneading massage. Okay. All right. Let me find my, oh, I got my little paper here. Okay. And some of the things that we want to know on the petrissage motion, I want to make sure that I didn't, is that your phone? Okay. Okay. So it is a grasping, you're grasping. I'm going to actually show y'all a picture of it. Here is the picture of it. Grasping. See how they're grasping in the picture? Grasping with thumb and forefinger. So it's a grasping motion of the uh, thumb and the forefinger. This would be an example because this is the best picture I can kind of find just to kind of give everyone an idea of what uh, the, the um, kneading is. The skin, a bullet, another bullet, Lauren, the skin is lifted, comma, squeezed, comma, rolled, comma, pinched, on fleshier tissue. Oh, I had another note. If you could, um, go back over here to Eflorage real quick. Just put an extra point I had written down to remind myself to tell y'all. Uh, it's close. You need an E instead of an A. There you go. Effleurage. One thing you want to know is shiatsu is a form of uh -huh. effleurage. S-H-I-A-T-S-U. So shiatsu falls under the effleurage. Uh, estheticians, y'all may need to know that one, so make sure that you um, jot that one down under your notes of effleurage. And Alana is going to be talking about the different types from shiatsu to, to reflexology, etc. So uh, I just wanted to make sure y'all got that one. I had it on my notes and I failed to, sometimes I have to look down my paper and remember to tell you a few things. Okay, so back to this. This is our petrissage. And that's the grasping and lifting of the tissues with the thumb and the forefinger. Um, fingers are, uh, uh, let me see what else I can tell you. Um, <coughs> stimulates <coughs> sebum and blood circulation. Stimulates sebum and blood circulation. Now sebum, as you know, is oil. So there, um, uh, this massage, this technique for massage, estheticians especially on the face, and if you have battled any type of acne in your uh, life or you um, have a lot of sebum uh, pouring from your pores because your pores are large and your blood circulation goes really quickly and you get overheated easily and then oil pull, pulls out, 
and then you, this is going to be an excellent massage um, for stimulate the and it, in fact there's um let me write it down because I don't know the word of it. There's a massage technique called Dr. This pertains to semen. Dr. Jacquet massage. So for oily, oily skin, you are trying to expel and take out the oil out of those pores. So that's the actual massage that you actually do for very acneic skin. You use the petrissage motion. Okay. All right. Let me see where I'm at. Um, um, do we have blood flow in here? Okay, yes. I think we've got everything on petrosage then, so I'm going to hold up the little picture again, and you can add any additional notes. And you can see in the picture here they're doing a grasping motion with a, a pinching motion there. Now, uh, when Molly goes over this later, there's a term called fulling, F-U-L-L-I-N-G, and she's going to go over, and fulling actually falls under this category here, too. So, Lauren, if you want to write fulling on that left-hand corner where I wrote Dr. Jacquet, F-U-L-L-I-N-G, fulling is a form of petrissage. And Molly will go over that with you. Um, that might be tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Thank you, Faith. Thank you, uh, Stacy. Good job, everybody. Okay. So this is going to be great, great, great knowledge right here for your state board, passing that state board. We are on the, are we on the third one? Let's see. We've got one, two, three. We've got two more to go. Um, and then here, I, did I show you this one? I think I did. If you wanted these notes, you can screenshot real quick and then you'll have that as a sample picture if that helps you to learn better. Okay. All right. Now we're ready for tapotement. I want you to say the word out loud. You want to erase? You can erase yeah. both. Um, I want you to say the word tapotment because the way it's spelled, it's hard to pronounce and you want to make sure that you can uh, pronounce it correctly. Tapotment. And that one is going to be T as in Tom, A, P as in Paul, O, T, E, M E N T. Good. Now the other term for this one that you need to know for state board is percussion. It means the same thing. Uh huh. Means the same thing. Percussion. P E R C U S S I O N, A K A, also known as percussion. Now in parenthesis or another uh, bullet, this is a. This can be tapping. comma slapping it sounds so funny to me <laughs> hacking there's a few others for this one and let's just go ahead and put cupping c u p p i n g And if you're interested, um, tapotment, the word tapotment, Lauren, write down, it's a French verb. It comes from the French verb, hyphen, T-A-P-O-T-E-R, tapoter. And that French verb means to tap or to pat. So you don't have to write that part. That's just a little FYI. And that's not on the state board. Now, it's recommended to avoid tapotment on jawline, spine, and varicose veins. So if you have like some uh, broken, cap broken capillaries, it's not going to be good to sit here and slap the skin right here. You're just going to get those varicose veins to um, be irritated and inflamed. So avoid that. 
and on the spine that would hurt and the jawline that would hurt too. Now you could do digital tapping on the um, on the uh, light digital tapping on the jawline and light digital tapping. Okay, um, let me check my notes here. Oh, highly stimulating. And another state board question that you might see come up on this one is, you're only gonna use this for a few seconds, anywhere from five to 20 seconds. And the last thing we're gonna add on this one is um, it stimulates the nerve endings. Stimulates nerve endings. Okay, and let me see if I have a little picture on this one. I do. Okay. So right here you can see the hacking on the back. Of course, we're not going to hack on the back. And then um, you will see a few other little tidbits there. If you want to jot them down, you can. Katie will be getting a mannequin out in the upcoming week demonstrating some massage. I will do the demonstration of the arm massage today on Lauren's arm. I'm gonna hold it up another couple of seconds. If you, if you want to, you can screenshot this real quick and you will um, have this little information. For those of you who are visual people and you wanna know what hacking, slapping, tapping is, now I'm gonna have Lauren sit down and I'm just gonna show you real quickly what like a digital tapping. Oh, also put on this side of the notes that it's also called piano tapping. That's another one that they use. Um, since I didn't turn the chair, just turn your body. You'll have to be uncomfortable for a second. So slapping would be, let me do on this side. Can you see me? It's weird when you make the ball. So my hand is going around and around with my middle finger and my ring finger, not my strongest finger and not my weakest finger, middle finger, and I'm kind of doing like this. It's highly stimulating, blood circulation, digital tapping. <laughs> and then of course, hacking is limited to the shoulders and Molly will go over a few of those things with you on definitions and vocab. Okay, let me put this up one more time in case y'all need it. There we go. You can take a picture if that helps you. And Emily, I will actually tell you, it really does feel good when you do it to the skin. It feels really good. Yeah. Did it feel good to well, you? It just feels weird with makeup on. Yeah, right. It's like not the same. Totally. Okay, I'm gonna have her erase that one because we have one more. Let me see if I have anything else I want to tell y'all on that one. I think that we got it. Okay, and our last one is vibration. Now at State Board, by, uh, the other term on the multiple choice test that they're gonna want you to say, it, or no rather, is that vibration is known as shaking. It's a shaking motion. Now on my little picture I have for you, trembling, but I've never seen trembling, but um, trembling would be a good way for some of you to recognize what you're actually doing. Your, your fingers are trembling on the skin, on those nerve endings and those nerve uh, points. So um, um, I made a digital finger. Um, so it's a shaking motion. Okay, so um, let's see, we got, we got shaking motion. So it's highly stimulating. We know that. Another hyphen, we're going to put, it's rapid. Okay. 
again, only used for a very short period of time, only used for seconds at a time. And it is performed with your fingertips. So if you were to do um, um, some lymphatic drainage, um, these motor points are hit with the balls of your fingertips and there is some stimulation there. I don't know if it's to the point of shaking and trembling, but I'll give you an idea of how this looks one more time on Lauren. Oh, that's okay. Okay, just put your head back. So like, I'm gonna go right here on the temporal part, okay? Now when you do this, I'm using the balls of my fingertips. You can use your middle finger or your ring finger or both. And you're pushing so firmly, like there's one right here, that your hands are shaking, okay? So that's it on that one. But it's a firm, deep, uh, penetrating, highly stimulating, shaking motion. Okay, let me give you the last little um, um, little paper here. There we go. Jocelyn, oh, I love that. Hey, y'all write down Jocelyn. She's got it, uh, Kimberly Root has it there in the, um, in the chat. J-O-S-S, -S. wait, where is the comment? That's L-I-N-G. Perfect. Uh, five, uh, five to 20 seconds is what's recommended. No longer. And I don't know that I would go 20 seconds. If someone's pressure is too hard, oof, I would be. Now, I like uh, deep rubbing a lot, so it doesn't bother me. But some people, oh my goodness, they're so tender. And they're like, ouch, you're hurting me. So I don't have a problem telling someone when something is, too, the pressure is too deep or something. But some people don't. And it's and then you don't know that you're hurting them. I mainly shake anyway. <laughs> Me too, Tabitha. I have a, a, a natural tremor. So I wanna just pick up this, um, I wanna show you this um, quick um, little picture just again to remind you. These are the five main, um, main massage movements. Effleurage, Petrissage, friction to potent and vibration. Now, right now, in your mind, based uh, go, going over what we just went over without looking at your notes, just look at the screen. Effleurage is called a what? Stroking motion. Petrissage is a kneading motion. Friction is a Deep rubbing motion to potment is a hacking, slapping, tapping motion, and vibration is a shaking motion. Great, percussion, perfect. Also known as percussion. Yeah, y'all need to know that. Don't forget. Okay? So those are the five basic motions that you have to know for passing the state exam and knowing a little bit of information about each one. Which one falls and where does feathering fall under? Effleurage, good job, okay? So we did not take a break. So I want y'all to stay online until 1245 and then we're gonna log off. Uh, um, I want to tell you at 12 to 1 o'clock, I'm sorry, 12 to 1 o'clock, um, 2 to 3 o'clock, Kimberly's going to come on and give you some information about massage. And then we're going to do something a little unusual. Normally we go 2 to 4 with one person, so we're going to log off for about 15 minutes, log back on, and then I'm going to go over the hand and arm massage. Okay? So at 2 o'clock, Kimberly comes on for about 45 minutes. She'll log off, and then I will log off 
I mean, I will log back on, do the hand and arm massage with you. And then Molly will come on at five o'clock for a few minutes for roll call, et cetera. Sound like a plan? Easy peasy day. And um, Alana started off with such a great morning of motivation and uh, encouraging us. So i um, proud of you guys. Keep hanging in there. You're getting your hours and that's what counts. So hopefully uh, this virus is getting under control and all of your family is safe. Okay, I'm going to turn the mute on and we're going to stay on uh, till 1245 since we did not take a break. All right. Okay, I'm going to hit the end button. I'm going to have Lauren uh, erase this side of the board so that we are ready uh, for Kimberly at two o'clock. So I'm going to put it on mute and I will end the stream at 1245. Getting uh, the last roll call, please. Thank you.